And I said, Gabriel, can you come up and down the rock, though? Gabriel looked at me. Paddy, could I have a sandwich in the toilet? <laughs> Over in the union, oh, little... I went into the toilet. And David, Gabriel was in a terrified. The cordy was out in the ground. And Gabriel said to me, what's an octave? I said, I haven't a fucking clue. I tell you the truth. And I don't think anyone else does only me that. A week ago, I said, Gabriel said, what will I do? Gabriel nearly died, you know. I said, just come out and sit down and I'll tell him we went up another octave. <laughs> Mick was there waiting for us to come out. A week ago, Gabriel sat down. I thought he meant Gabriel to sit up higher in the chair. <laughs> I was sure of it, actually. A week ago, Mick said, well, the sound that, yeah, Gabriel's going up another octave. <laughs> in we went and Mick said, that's the best I ever heard. Roy. We had a traditional group. Mick Sheridan will tell you. Mick ran all this. Everything. Mick's roar. Yeah, Paddy, I'm going home, right? You okay. Just... All right. All right. Well, I, want to get, I want to get it over real quick. But anyway, in the traditional group, Gabriel was playing again. There was no one playing in town named Gabriel Craig. He was brilliant. He played a whole wedding, actually. He did. That's a fact. Brilliant. Great friend of mine. So we were there. So we had Gabriel on the accordion. Fancy Tracy was on drums. Oh, Kilcorsi. And Paddy Egan was playing harmonica. And I was just sort of over them, you know. So we collect them in the evening time, you know. And we go over to the Union Hall again. Because Joe Keith was running the Union at the time out of the course. I used to give me the key in the factory. And we go over and everything. And we collected Francis several times, you know. He was a great character. And Mick and the Morris Minor at the time, Mick Sheridan. And Mick would collect me, and then we go up and we collect Francis. So Francis comes out of the house, up where Martin Riley's living now, actually, same house. And Francis. Yeah, was it? Tom Newman's house. Tom Newman's house. Francie got into the car and he stepped on the back seat. His sight was very bad. And he said to Mick, I see you changed the car. Mick said, what? No, this is the same car. The seats are very high. Yes, says Mick, you're sitting in the back window. And, you're, and your feet is on the seat. It is feet on the seat. And he was sitting in the back window. And Mick tried to explain to him, it was the same car. I was unreal. <laughs> no, and the next thing, right, that was the answer, man. Johnny Buckley over Collinstown, brilliant tin whistle player, was playing in the same band. And I was out trying to organise it, and Mick was driving us around collecting fellas. But she asked us where we were going, the boys were playing high god and um, the drums was going and Gabriel was playing and Johnny Buckley was playing the tin whistle. And someone said to Johnny at war in the lower mill in the factory, Johnny, if you had a wooden tin whistle, it'd be brilliant. You know, it's a great sound though, but no, the tin whistle is brilliant. Fucking Johnny took the day off. The following day, went into Walton's, your man there would be quite short time, Johnny went in. Could I have a wooden tin whistle? <laughs> fucking laugh. Are you having me on? A fucking wooden tin whistle. And Johnny looked and left. I walked up. We collected Johnny. I said, Johnny, did you get the other tin whistle? Your man thought was fucking mental. No one ever heard that of a wooden tin whistle before. Here we go. Right, Johnny. <laughs> Paddy, you know one of the big songs, you probably won't remember it, it's that long since you sang it, but with that, by the way, what was the name of the ballad group? Well, we never had a name, but we called one another some desperate names. Right. We but never I, picked, we fought every, we had about ten names again, it was all, but we called them one another, all the bastards, and then, nothing went right, but we never got a name. <laughs> I know one of your big songs, Paddy, at that time. I don't know if you remember it or whether you've ever sang it since. But Mick Sheridan told me earlier on 
your big hit at that time was Ireland's 32. Do you remember? Oh, we mentioned every county in Ireland. We used to do that when we sing. in the wrong key. We used to do that every night in school. I'm only cutting it. Paddy, by the way, did you 